Welcome back to Time Shot! Oh, I'm so happy we're here in our spawn village where amazing people are building their amazing houses. Also, hmm? Hmm? Oh, that's just the roof. Like, <laughs> I swear, every time lately when I come back, something new and different has been happening. Like, like this bit of string? Why is there a piece of string over here? Just floating in the sky. What is that about? Oh, the mysteries! The mysteries deepen! Oh my goodness. And you know, we should probably get some more lily pads over here so that if people wanted, they could actually jump across. I guess that this is kind of next to my house, so it's my responsibility to decorate this area. Do I have any more lily pads? Let's check, pup pups. Let's see if I've got more lily pads. Hiding away. Oh, they would probably be in my flower chest right here. Nope. No lily pads in there. Any in here? Oh, wow. I really don't have any lily pads. Huh. Huh. Well, we'll figure that out. Uh, the house is actually starting to come together, which I'm really grateful for. I like how uh, all the bits and pieces are beginning to look more like bits and pieces. We've got a big tree in our yard. I'm going to leave that big tree, the big oak, because I love the big oak trees. We've got this little guy. He looks like he's been shaved on the bottom a bit. We might fill out, uh, fill that out a bit. And I keep forgetting who's poet. Yeah, poet. I'm pretty sure this is just poet stuff that's just kind of sitting here, which is fine. With his, his turkey waddle, turkey waddle tower. I've never been in there, actually. I wonder if he'd give me a tour of it sometime. But I am so content. I cannot wait. We're going to put our little flower market stall right here as time goes on. And then we're also working on... We're going to put a chicken up there, you guys. That's today. Today is the day. We have the stained glass, and I want to put a chicken up there. And I don't know if it's possible, because if I recall... I think chickens can, oh, I have a piece of lumber and some more. I need those things. I think chickens can only show up if they are on, like, the if you hatch the eggs on grass. And I'm not sure how true that is, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty true. I think those two eggs I gathered didn't do anything last time, too. Drat, why am I having such a hard time getting and keeping animals? I'm, like, the animal lover, and I just can't seem to get my paws on some animals. All right, no, I don't want that. Let's get a few stone pressure plates really quickly. And then actually, let's turn this stone into stone bricks. There we go. Because to prevent prevent any future chickens from escaping, I'm gonna put a pressure plate right there. And then that way, hopefully no more chickens, chickens escaping through the garden, because I'm gonna try to keep some of them in the garden. And then I need my doors to close behind me because I keep having this paranoia fear that there's going to be zombies coming to get me inside my house while I'm just like cooking stuff. So hopefully that will relieve my fear. There we go. No pressure plate to get in. Unless I don't know if zombies can set off pressure plates. I'm going to have to learn about those things. When I'm playing Minecraft, I'm usually more concerned about the tigers trying to eat my quagga. So <laughs> it's definitely a change of pace to worry about the vanilla things like zombies. All right, now let's climb up here. And let's figure out how we're going to do this, my friends. All right, come here, you. Temporary scaffolding. Because I want a chicken. I want a giant chicken. And no, I missed. I want a giant chicken hanging out in the leaves of my house. And so we're gonna try to build, because Sky, the ghost of Sky Pig Bob was my inspiration, to build a giant chicken in the leaves over here, somewhere. So let's get up here so I can survey what's going on. I think we'll clear the leaves out a little bit down to like this level maybe, a little bit more. Okay, okay, I think that'll do it. Do I have shears? I do. They're not gonna last very long. They didn't last long at all, but that's okay. All right, so it's a good thing I brought some extra leaves to put the leaves back in. So we're gonna clear the leaves out a little bit because what I would love to do is have like the giant chicken's head, at least, sticking out on one end. And then as time goes on, we'll fill up this area with chickens and have a, um, have a, a, a hopper system take the chicken eggs down so that I can collect the eggs out of a chest. I think that would be fun. I don't know if we can actually do that because I think chickens can only spawn out of eggs if they're on grass blocks. Uh, so I'm going to have to figure out a way to get grass blocks up here. Maybe someone has silk touch and they'd be willing to trade me a grass block. I just need one. I can give it back if I have silk touch again. All right, so let's see. And I don't know why, I, I just, I love, 
I love chickens. <laughs> I love birds. If you guys have seen my vlogs, you know that I have finches. My lovely, lovely finches. And they are Gouldian finches. Gouldian. From, um, Australia. That's where those little Tweety crew members are. Alright, so we're going to need it to be about seven blocks wide at one point. And the head, which I think will start right here, is going to need to be five blocks wide. So let me think about this. Oh. One, two, three, four. Let's err on this side, five. There we go. So five blocks wide. Good, good, good. And then we're going to do... It's going to be kind of a big chicken. One, two, and then one. I hope I have enough for this. Okay, let me see. One, two, and then right here is going to be an eye. There we go. And then the top of the chicken, right there. That's just about where I wanted it. And hopefully it won't be too big and gaudy. Hopefully it'll just look like a bird roosting in the back of my... <laughs> roosting in the back of my tree, which is the effect I am going for if I can stop falling. Whoops. Whoops. Now how to get back up. Oh dear. Um... I think I'm gonna need more, more glass, actually. Oh, well, I can always add more leaves back in. That's something that I can fix. All right, so let's just come over here. Glass. Let's get the top of the chicken's head done first. And we'll probably want to empty the leaves that would be inside of it. Okay. Chicken, chicken, chicken. But yeah, I, I don't know why. Um, growing up, I wasn't really a big bird person. Probably because my mother had a Quaker parrot named Twinkle who would literally try to eat her eyes out. Quaker parrots are pretty intelligent. Um... And they, they bond with, like, their people. And this Quaker parrot bonded with my mom. And if you were not my mom, she wished you a murderous, horrific death. Oh, we're going to need a lot more glass, actually. So I'm going to have to go back in and get more. More white glass. I hope we have some glass left over. All right, let's do this. If not, it'll be a fun little adventure to go get more. And then let me put down the other eyeball. It's going to be right there. There we go. There we go. <gasps> my chicken! My chicken is coming together. So exciting. And then we're going to have the little beak beak. Uh, little chicken beak. I wonder if I should do it. Well, the, the Minecraft chickens have the chicken beaks all the way out on both sides. But I don't know if I want that. So we'll, we'll have to figure it out. Oh, I'm going to need more of that too. <laughs> I severely underestimated the amount of glass. Oh, I like it. I like it. Minecraft chicken. I'm getting a chicken in my tree. I'm getting a chicken in my tree. And hopefully I can put real chickens inside of it because that would be so cool. That makes me happy. You know, today was one of those days where I just, I wasn't really feeling well. Not sick, just, you know, when you might go to inside, like into work and you're like, okay, I know I can't put 100% in because today is just not a 100% day. But at least I showed up and that's like half the battle, right? Today's one of those days for me. So it feels really rewarding to have had this idea to put a chicken up here for so long. And I'm actually doing it, even though today isn't one of my best days. So take that, take that to heart, guys. One of those little time shot, time shot, heart to heart lessons. Even when you're not feeling your best, at least give it a try. Also, let's plant another tree right there. In fact, I need to plant a few more trees real fast because I need more wood. Need more wood, please. And then we can come... I love my little privacy hedge. This is actually a really nice little thing to have added in. Okay, it's not definitely not going to grow there. Let's try over here. And we'll just give those guys a chance to see if they're going to grow or not. I like it. So we can build this into a proper garden pretty soon. I'm tempted to make this like a little hedge archway. I wonder if we can mix in different types of leaves, actually, to give it more of a little gardeny vibe. Turn this into a proper garden. I like it. You guys have given me some amazing ideas. I have a folder with the images saved from you guys who have submitted garden ideas for building gardens in TimeShot. What my goal is, is to get my, my spawn house really up and running, get a good garden, get some chickens, make some cake for everyone, maybe work on the co-op program that I want to start with some other time shot members a fun way of interacting with everybody and then after all that is said and done build another portal back home 
So build another portal back home and then go back there and do a lot of projects. <gasps> somebody has the silky touch already because somebody has a rooftop garden. A plus plus, approve, approve, approve. I'm pretty sure that's Inja. Pretty darn sure. I was just watching her video the other night uh, of when she was building her spun house. She is a good builder. There we go. There we go. And I think she does Godiva gaming with, with Winter. So I'm gonna have to keep in touch with what they're going on, what they're doing. All right, let's see, let's come down here. Um, yeah, I think this is far enough in for the chicken for right now. And then we're gonna have to peck, 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 peck. But yeah, I was not a bird person growing up at all, not remotely uh, into birds. Didn't really care for birds. My mom had that mean Quaker parrot, very, very mean Quaker parrot named Twinkle. And oh my gosh, she hated humanity, she hated you. She was, except my mom, if you were my mom, then she was lovey-dovey, would croon and preen, and just was the, the sweetest bird to everyone who was my, like, to, just to my mom. All right, there we go. So that was, that's the chicken. I think mostly complete from the back. <gasps> I like it. Oh my gosh, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Meow, All right, let me, let me get a good look at my chicken. I like him. I like him. He's hiding. He's hiding inside of my tree. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hope that's not obnoxious to people. Oh, it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Maybe I need to give him like some wing wing edges, perhaps. I wonder if that would help kind of even him out. Hey, there's a cake here. Oh, that's because it's a funeral cake. I see. For Sky Pig Bob. Hmm. I wonder if I should have shrunk the chicken. Oh, did I miss a block? I think I missed a block. All right, let's pop back up, finish the beak off. I'm kind of tempted to shrink the beak on either side a little bit, but I think that would make it too small. It's kind of tricky dealing with the blocks in the Minecraft sometimes. But yeah, so this is, uh, this is fun, this is good. This is good, even though I wasn't sure if I would be able to, to do this today because I just wasn't sure how I felt. But that's okay. You know, that's happened a lot before. One time I was actually actually sick. I had like 112 fever, but it was my finals in uh, one of my high school courses uh, for three classes. Three classes actually had finals that day. And I was like, you know, I don't think my professors give a flying flip that I have a fever and that I'm not feeling well because they say they don't. They're like, if you're sick, don't expect special behavior just because you're, you're sick. One of my uh, professors actually flunked a kid who had appendicitis in college. He had his appendix burst and went to the ER on the day that they were having the exam. He had medical evidence and everything, and the professor still flunked him. He was like, nope, you didn't show up to the exam. There are no excuses. And I think it led to a lawsuit, so I don't think it ended well for the professor. <laughs> but, you know, some days you're just not feeling well, and you go in, and you still you still try. And that's how I feel about this chicken. He's my, he's my I'm still trying chicken. Oh my goodness. I really like him, actually. I just hope he's not obnoxious to everyone else. Because I want to fill him with chickens. Hi, buddy. I need to get a good view of him. Okay, pardon me. I don't mean to, di like, disrespect the graves. Oh, look at him. He's just roosting. He's all snuggled up in his little tree. I think what I want is to add, like, a little bit of wings on either side. Hmm. And I need more glass to do that. And I am actually totally out of anything to burn. Since apparently wood doesn't burn anymore? Why? What? When did this happen? I need to pay more attention to the updates, little pup pups. Oh, but I like how the house is coming together too. So one second. All right, let me see. Yeah, I think I'm out of burnable material for now. Hmm. To make more glass. Hmm. So, all right, guys, one second. I'm going to see if it is possible to get... Oops. Jeez, I keep thinking zombies and stuff are going to... No, stop it. Are going to eat me if I if I am not too careful. Uh, or if I'm not careful enough. All right. All right. But spawns, spawns usually very, very safe. It's just the untamed wilds that can get a little bit hairy. But all right. I like it. My house is coming together. Good. We have a chicken on top of the roof, which is actually amazing. And I'm going to do some quick research really fast to see if I can hatch chickens uh, on like leaf blocks. <laughs> so I'll be right back, guys. One second. All right, you guys, this may be one of the stupidest or the best plans to obtain chickens that I could think of. And basically, I realized, oh, yeah, chickens will follow you if you have seeds. So we're going to go try to attract at least two chickens in here. And if we can get two chickens in here, then we can set them up breeding. Also, I need to close this off. No chickens escaping. 
No escaping chickens. And then we can get chickens in our tree and we could breed them up and have lots and lots of chick chicks in our tree. It's getting a little bit late and Fabe is still doing his, his thing. So we're gonna pop down here and see if I can attract chickens <laughs> up into my tree. So that's our goal here. Uh, are there a couple that are gonna pop out of these eggs I got? <gasps> Ooh, I actually got a chick chick. I'm sorry, chick chick. I'm sorry, follow me, please follow me. Right here, right here, right here. Yeah, the lady with the seeds. Oh yeah, come on. Come on, little guy. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. This could be our first chicken, you guys. This could be our first chicken. If you can make it up the blocks, can you figure out the block mechanics? Oh, good job. Oh, who's a good chick chick? Come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Up the, up the block. There we go. Come on. This way. Are you too little? No, you got it. You got this. You've got this. Come on, little guy. That's right, come on. Almost there. Oh my goodness. All right, okay, don't follow me too much. Cause you don't wanna fall down. <gasps> oh my goodness, we're leading a chicken up. We're leading a chicken up. Come on, you can do it. You can do it a little bit more. Good job, good job. Now come this way. Now come this way. <gasps> we're gonna have a chicken. We're gonna have a chicken in the tree. Good job, this way. Just a little bit more. Nope, don't lose interest. Come on, that's right. Follow me. Follow me right inside. Right inside. Oh, <gasps> I can't believe that worked. Good job. Here, have have some of this. All right, now I'm going to push you over here and temporarily enclose you in so that you don't go anywhere. Stay. Don't fly off. While I go and try to attract another chicken without getting attracting like without attracting a ton of zombies at the same time. Uh, because I have seen some Zambambes roaming around here at night. Any chickens? Any chickens? Hello, hello. Chickens. <gasps> chicken! I think, nope, that's a flower. Oh, that's a chicken. Hey, chicken! You want to leave a life of drowning behind for a life of elegance in a treehouse with me? Come my way. Come this way, my friend. I will help. Come on. First, we gotta get you out of the water. Come on, my feathered butted friend. But yes, so, like I've been saying, I love birds. I love chickens. I was a totally a cat person growing up, though. I never thought I would be into birds. Oh my gosh. Especially birds that are said to be dumb, like chickens. Chickens aren't that dumb. Some of them can be, but it's just like any animal. Like this chicken. This chicken in particular appears to be quite dumb. Come on, let's try getting you out of the water yet again. Come on. Oh my gosh. That's right, come on, follow me. Oh, we've got the chicken. We've got the chicken. Okay, follow me. Please follow. I can't, I can't guide and, and walk backwards. Okay, this is where we met Charlotte, who was, who was unfortunately killed by code. Well, he is a tiger. Maybe he was hungry. All right, come on. I can't blame him if he was hungry. I do have a whole bunch of fish I want to give code because code was super helpful. Helped me build things. He's been super duper nice. Oh my goodness. We've got a chicken. <gasps> we could end up with our chickens! Oh, that's so cool! Just imagine if we could have like tons and tons of chickens up there laying eggs and then any time I needed, I needed eggs we can just raid a chest that we call the nest. That's right, good chicken, good chicken. Follow me. You've got this. <gasps> oh my goodness, this was a lot easier than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be so much harder. Oh, he almost lost it. Almost fell. Almost fell, but we're almost there. Almost there. Just a little bit further. Come on. You've got this. You've got this. And we have our second chicken. Touchdown. Birdie touchdown. And now he is enclosed. Both chickens are now secured. Whoops. Watch out, little guy. There we go. Yay. And the other chicken is still here. Yay. Wonderful. Wonderful. Can I feed him to grow him up? No. So now we just have to wait for this chicken to grow up and then we have our chicken pair, you guys, in our tree. So let me get myself out of here and cover this back up temporarily with dirt. Stay in there, chickens. Do not come out. There we go. There! Look at that! Look at that! We've got our chickens up there in our tree where we've got our chicken, our giant chicken. So I'm gonna have to take this puppy down. I'm gonna leave it just until we get a few more chickens in there. Because I don't want them, I don't want to take the whole thing down. And then somehow, fate decrees that we're not allowed to have chickens. And I lose that chicken. So let me see how things are going. Going pretty good. 
Let me pop over here. Going pretty good. I still need to gather up more sand and turn it into glass so that we can put some wings on that chicken. But I like it. I like that we can have some chickens jumping around inside of there. And I think I'm going to make it so they can climb around inside the head. So every now and then you can look up and see a bunch of chickens just jumping around. I think that would be fun. So there we go, you guys. Oh, see? See, look at what you can do if you're just having a tough day. And you can go, you know what? I, I think I've got the skills to do this even though I'm not feeling my best. So I'm going to try. And then boom. Suddenly, you've got a giant chicken, and you've got chickens hanging out in the little house. And we're going to have to fix up more stuff around our house. I'm getting so excited about our spawn house now. So we're going to have to fix it up some more, put in a really nice little garden. I'm going to... There we go. Put in a really beautiful garden. Um, maybe get some leaves, build some custom trees. Definitely get our flower market stall set up, even if we don't have the flowers for the flower market yet. I want to make it so people can buy bouquets of flowers. I like it, and it's looking nice and green and lush over here, just like I love it. And it's got chickens. Oh, that's too fun. That is too fun. <sighs> well, good. So there you go, guys. Take-home message today is if you've got something you're procrastinating on or you're putting off because you just don't feel like it, you've got 100%, remember even 80%, even, even just throwing yourself out there is better than nothing in most cases. So give it a try. Give it a try. And you never know. You might end up with chickens in your roof which is amazing. I'm so happy. So I'm actually going to sit here until they grow up and, and take care of my new chickens. It's so exciting. It's so exciting. All right, guys, I will see you. I will see you later. And you guys are going to have to look forward to seeing as our chickens grow up and we have a whole bunch of chickens in our roof. Oh, that should be so fun. Also, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.